Hello, thank you for coming to my video. If you would like to help my channel grow, please like and subscribe, and please click on this little bell icon so you never miss a future video. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everyone had a 2018 Merry Christmas. Uh, haven't done one of these videos in a while, so I figured I'd do like a recent pickup uh, video of all the recent stuff I picked up over the holidays, both the Black Friday and Christmas season. So yeah, here we go. Uh, first couple things here. We picked up Gauntlet 2 on the NES. Uh, this is one of the early games to support four players on the Nintendo. So we got to get a couple more people over here so we can uh, play four player Gauntlet on the Nintendo. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this one here. Also in my Christmas stocking, picked up a Super Famicom game, X X's. So looking forward to seeing what this game is like. Uh, we got a Super Famicom adapter for our Nintendo. So I want to test it out and make sure it works before I pick up some more Super Famicom games. My HDMI mod on my NES uh, decodes some of those uh, those extra sound channels on some of the Super Famicom games, like Castlevania 3, which is now on my wish list. So if this works on there and it works good, then yeah, that's definitely going to be on my wish list. Uh, what else we got here? Snipper Clips Plus. <laughs> Wife was looking forward to playing this game, so we picked that up. Uh, Crackdown on the Genesis. So I'm looking forward to playing this because, you know, it's another Genesis title. It's a game I haven't played before, so we're going to play that. Let's uh, see. What else did we pick up here? Uh, of course, with the Mortal Kombat craze coming out, I had to pick up Mortal Kombat XL because I did not have XL yet. Uh, all I had was regular Mortal Kombat X. So I picked up a physical version because my Mortal Kombat X copy is digital, so... I go physical now. It's all the way. It's the only way to go. Uh, also, picked up a brand new copy of Mortal Kombat: uh, The Complete uh, Edition. It, this is Mortal Kombat Nine on uh, Xbox 360. Um, I didn't have the Complete Edition, but even though I owned all the DLC, but every time I go to play this again, I can never find my save file, and I always like playing as uh, uh, Cyber Sub Zero, and you got to play through a lot of the campaign and whatnot to unlock Cyber Sub Zero. And it's always kind of a pain. Uh, I do have the complete uh, edition on the PC, but I'm always wanting to play it on the Xbox. Plus, I'm also hoping this hits uh, the Xbox One backwards compatibility list soon. I don't know if it will, but it's definitely overdue. So, finally picked up a physical edition, just because I haven't, I, you know, just had the digital version before I started collecting games. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be a lot of fun to play. Love that game. What else we got down here? Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. So this hit the backwards compatibility list. So I had to pick this up right away. And I've only played this a little bit. And what I, from what I did play, it was a lot of fun. Kind of came out at the same time as uh, Skyrim. So Skyrim kind of overshadowed it a little bit, but it's definitely really good. This is also the game that came out by 38 Studios, uh, the Hall of Fame baseball player, Kurt Schilling. Uh, his company unfortunately went bankrupt. Uh, oh, this is a new copy too. Brand new, hasn't even been opened. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Oh yeah, I can't believe I bought this. Uh, my coworkers talked me into getting this. World of Warcraft, the recent expansion. So I have not played World of Warcraft in like five or six years. Uh, I think I subscribed for about, you know, a month, like four years ago, and just played it for a little bit, didn't even buy any expansions, just, just to mess around in Battlegrounds. But, yeah, getting back into World of Warcraft. So I'm probably going to do like a, a Let's Play video on how different that game is. I played it, I picked up a new character, uh, made a new character just because I had to relearn the game because a lot of stuff is different. So that's that's going to be interesting to make. And the big one I picked up on Black Friday, which I was really excited about, the first Resident Evil on the Sega Saturn. 
I had no idea they made this game back in the day on the Sega Saturn. Even when I had a Sega Saturn. So I wish I knew about it. I would have kept my original Sega Saturn. So yeah, uh, now I need to pick up the Bix Box version of the PlayStation 1 version. So I can do a, uh, uh, like a Let's Play comparison on that. Because I'm really excited to see the differences in this one. And those are all the ones I picked up. However, my wife got this for Christmas. Cat Quest on Nintendo Switch. She was so excited to play this. She was playing this all Christmas. So, another thing she picked up. Starlink on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, this is just kind of mostly an empty box because... Here's a ship right here. This is this is, this is kind of cool. So you buy the physical version, and it comes with a ship and all this all these figures. You put your controllers into here, and they plug all the little things on it, which you know tell tell the game how you have your ship configured. And the cool thing about the Nintendo Switch version is it's got a bunch of Star Fox content. You know, like here's the Star Fox ship, and it's not like. A little bit of exclusive content it's like a huge amount of content it basically turns a campaign into a Star Fox game and she's a, she's a big fan of the Star Fox games she was really disappointed with the Wii U version didn't pick it up so I had to get her this for Christmas and she was super duper excited so yeah and she also got a copy of let's go Pikachu on the switch and I have no idea where that is that's in a box around here somewhere uh, the only bad thing about her getting these switch games is I'm probably not going to be able to play my switch in like two months <laughs> uh, I may have to get a second switch but yeah that's our recent pickups video a uh, quick update on our 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we originally had our deadline for New Year's Eve. However, we are going to extend that because we got to get some more subscribers. We got to be patient on this. We got to grow. So, yeah, uh, we're going to extend that until some point in 2019. So if you're watching this for the first time, we are doing a 4,000 subscriber giveaway for this $25 Amazon Prime gift card. So as soon as we get up to 4,000 subscribers, one of those lucky subscribers will get this gift card. So please share this video because we need more subscribers for someone to win. And yeah, that's my recent pickups video. And let me know what you think down below. And I will see you guys next time.